Hello, my name is Tian Li. I'm the artist from Bat Thom Vong. Now I moved to Phnom Penh to live and work here. I started to be interested in art since I was young, since I was little. My house was a small bookstore in Bat Thom Vong, and there were some beautiful pictures were hanging. You know, it was just a print from the old painters of Cambodia, like Nyak Dam, and some old painters from Russia. In that time, we still, our government was supported by Soviet Union, so we were influenced by uh, Soviet. And we had their art on our wall, and I was in love with that art. As a kid, I didn't know what to tell, but when I grew up, I knew they were painting by old master, so I wanted to be an artist. I dream, always dream. And when I was 13, I decided to learn painting. But I didn't have a chance to go to art school. And instead, I went to uh, my uncle. I started with my uncle, who was a sign painter in Bat Thom Vong. He was um, the cinema calligrapher since 1960s, 70s. He wrote and designed letters for cinemas in Bat Thom Vong. I started with him, I painted a sign, but through years, I didn't just want to be a sign painter, but what I always want to do was I want to be able to paint everything I see around me, but also things that I feel. So since then, I try so hard, especially I try to learn English because we have no uh, art education much in school. So we have to um, try the other way to find the possibility to learn. Um, so I uh, was working with him part time, but I still keep learning full time in my high school. Until I graduated in 2004, I study in the graphic design uh, center in Ban Thom Vong just for the certificate, and then I uh, was sent to Phnom Penh to be an intern, and then I was working as a graphic designer. Till 2011, I decided to stop, and I went back to Bat Thom Vong, and I worked full-time as an artist since then until now. I have many, many favorite artists but the most inspiring one for me are painters, the old masters. They are the, to me, their, their art spoke to me. They inspired me, they wanted me to paint. I didn't just see the beautiful art, but I saw the story behind the painting, the work, they were like speaking to me. The art means so much to me and to the society too. Through my perspective, uh, it is the way of communicating. You know, uh, for my medium, painting to me it's a type of powerful communication without a language, without voice. Since I start practicing my doing art, you know, practice my art, painting and drawing. It's really enjoyable work to me already, but the special one that I like to do is something connected to myself and the story around me uh, and the story about the society. We are related and also we have the strong interaction um, there, like I said, there is something subtle that we don't need to describe, 
but you can feel it through your life experiences. Right now, I'm working on the series called Surviving, like the one I started in 2012, and I had my first solo exhibition in 2013 at Java Art. Um, I still keep doing this, but through times, as I get older, you know, and my concept evolve, um, I have so much, um, there's so much story behind it, but to live in Battambong, life teaches me a lot and it, it inspires me to uh, create the new piece. It's a new version from surviving. The surviving one, I wanted to say, I wanted to speak about the um, life of people. We all struggle and we all trying to survive to find the success, you know, to be happy. And in some ways, we don't even know that we are in that moment, that we are trying to survive, we're striving. And then recently, many, many people, like my family, the elderly people, my family, and some people that I have met, they inspire me so much. They had hard time. They have lived through the wars. They, after the war, they got deep wound inside themselves. They feel like they lost the identity. As a person, they don't have confidence. I can tell, like, uh, this is very different from people of the neighboring countries like Vietnam, Thailand. They are different and they're not sure about themselves. But at the same time, while they're surviving in the bad situation, they live through this, they still keep smiling. They still keep going ahead. To me, they are really, really strong people. They don't give up hope, but they keep going. And I want to paint them as beautiful as I can, because this is something that I want to give them back. Uh, this is something so amazing to see, to see uh, in people. So the new version of surviving, and well, I will, I will do both. I still want to continue my surviving, but with a strong concept, because the, with, with the new concept, with the new theory, I call it my new exhibition will be uh, surviving and hope. Because when I had a hard time, their smile gave me hope. One of my dreams is to work with all artists, but mainly younger artists, because um, I want to do something to support part of Cambodian art scenes. Right now, I'm doing, I'm making an open studio for my friends. We work and study together. My purpose is to help Cambodian artists to refine the foundation and to see ourselves. It's, it is not just a studio, but it works like the lab. We study about techniques. We study about the history of the technique, but also we do a lot of experiment to get a good result. Also, we never forget the concept. Um, for me, I want to see Cambodian artists with a good and strong foundation. I believe in the nature of uh, Cambodian artists. I want to see uh, in the future what it will grow to be. I'm looking forward to see this. Thank you.